Hello from the National Weather Service in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria here for a look at the week ahead and what we expect. The first official week of fall as fall begins on Wednesday. Here's a look at the weather highlights for the week ahead. We do have weak Santa Ana winds, which will continue and mainly confined to the foothills and below mountain passes through Tuesday. The heat will be building, especially inland, peaking Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, we continue with dry fuels out there and low relative humidity inland for elevated fire weather conditions, especially during these weak Santa Ana winds early in the week. And then we turn our eyes to late in the week with a potential for some thunderstorms actually entering the picture Thursday and continuing through Saturday uh, with high uncertainty at this time. But yeah, the big news this week will be here building heat through Wednesday. And by Wednesday, high temps inland will be some 5 to 10 degrees above average for this time of year. And with Wednesday being the first day of fall, it sure won't feel like that for uh, inland locations. Here are the look at high temperatures. On Tuesday, you see the heat inland well into the 90s, lower deserts hitting about 106, 107. Wednesday, notice it heats up even further for the first day of, official first day of fall, inland empire locations in the lower 100s and much of the inland valleys well into the 90s. You gotta go to the coast to cool off with that marine layer in place. Thursday, you'll start to notice temperatures fall back a little bit, and that trend continues on Friday. So we will see late week cooling, and for next weekend, it looks uh, to be seasonable for this time of the year. You may have noticed some smoke in the air, and that's from Central California wildfires. The Santa Ana winds have blown it into the Inland Empire and parts of L.A. That'll lift off to the north, affecting more central and northern California late in the week as the wind flow uh, veers and turns more from the south. And speaking of winds from the south, we will get some increasing moisture here, especially uh, beginning Thursday into Friday. And we're watching for that possibility of thunderstorms to impact Southern California Thursday through Saturday as that moisture increases. Now there is high uncertainty um, exactly where an upper level low will set up and the potential for thunderstorms. Right now we think the best chance will be over the mountain locations, but we can't rule out showers or thunderstorms pretty much anywhere this week. Here's a look at preliminary precipitation amounts with, again, I can't stress enough the high uncertainty in this forecast. Uh, but right now, it looks like the favored locations for uh, appreciable precip would be in our mountains with uh, right now looking like a quarter to a half an inch. But uh, stay tuned for more details on this as we get closer to the late week time frame. And you can see perhaps some beneficial rainfall occurring over central California in the Sierra, where those wildfires continue. So in summary, weak Santa Ana winds through Tuesday, continuing the elevated fire weather conditions inland areas. You'll notice the heat building through Wednesday before we cool off later in the week, and then watching for that potential for some scattered showers and thunderstorms, especially in the mountains, Thursday through Saturday. Continue to stay updated with the latest forecasts on our homepage at weather.gov and have a great week.